Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my June favourites for you guys, which is insane to me because it means that we are officially in the middle of the year, which is nuts. So this month I have a really good range of favourites to share with you guys as well. So I've got cosmetics favourites, I've got two skincare favourites, and I've also got a perfume favourite as well as my random favourites as well. So if you guys want to see my June favourites, then please keep watching. So I will start off with my makeup favorites and the first favorite that I wanted to mention was a palette that I've been using every single day since I've gotten it. So this is the BH, um, BH Party Girl After Hours palette and if you guys don't know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. So it comes with uh, 20, sorry no, 32 eyeshadows and it's got a really nice ranges, um, a really nice range of mattes, shimmers, um, also neutral tones and crazy colored tones as well so this is a really really good universal palette and I believe it only retails for like it's under $15 which is great I think it's under $10 even which is really good so I'll leave a link to this down below and I actually got this as a free gift with my last BH order um, which is really exciting so I'm glad I finally got this but I've been using this every single day it's what I've used today on my eyes um, I've just used a color from the mattes just from this one um, a cool tone um, I've also used um, this light uh, silvery kind of color to highlight the inner um, part of the middle of my eye. Um, I've used the black in here as well as this cranberry kind of color as well. So I've created quite a neutral look today but I can find that I can make any kind of look with this palette so I'm really really happy with it so I'll leave a link to that down below. Um, also I've been obsessing over this mascara for the last couple of months and I don't know why I haven't mentioned it because it's one of the only mascaras that I use now and it's by Arbonne and this is the It's a Long Story Mascara. Now this was sitting in my makeup kit for so long and I wanted to try a new mascara so I just kind of rummaged through what I had and came across this one and I remember when I was doing um training on the Arbonne stuff that um, they actually said that they had fibers in here. So the wand is a rubber bristled brush. It's quite large. You can see how big it is next to my eyeball. Um, but it gives incredible length, also a decent amount of volume. And um, it's just amazing stuff. And I do really, really like it. Now, unfortunately with Arbonne, you can only purchase it through a consultant. I'm no longer a consultant with Arbonne. But um, if you do have one in your area, definitely try it out because it is amazing. Um, so that's pretty much it for this mascara. It is absolutely incredible and it's unfortunately coming to an end so I'm going to have to repurchase it because it is amazing. Um, I will go on to an eyebrow product that I've been loving. So um, I also ran out of um, or I was running out of my eyebrow powder by MUA and I wanted to go back to pencils just for a little bit because it's so much more convenient and so easy. So the eyebrow pencil that I have been reaching for and this is just a new repurchase is the models prefer retractable eyebrow pencil in the color blonde and this thing is amazing it um, I actually remember when I purchased this the first time um, I didn't know what the applicator or the actual pencil looked like and when I opened it and saw that it was on a slant I was like how the hell do I use that I'm so confused and it just didn't work out for me and then I recently reached for it and I tried it and I love it it's amazing so it comes on like a slant almost so um, it makes it really easy to fill in your eyebrows and it also comes with a spoolie on the other end as well which I love so I'm really really in love with this product I think it's amazing and I think it only retails for um, I think $13 I think so it's pretty good and you do get quite a lot of product in here as well the pencil's very waxy so it doesn't smudge all day um, I do like to set it though just to be safe but I think this pencil is absolutely incredible and if you need a new one then definitely give it a go because I think it's lovely um, and then the last cosmetics favorite that I do have is what I'm wearing on my lips today this is my most recent purchase I purchased it about a week ago and it's technically kind of cheating because because I didn't use it all of the month of June but um 
this is definitely going to be a favorite and I will be doing a haul soon so you guys will see it. Um, but this is by Hourglass and I recently did a quick stop to Mecca and I was browsing through Hourglass because their products are just beautiful and I was wooing over all of them. And I actually had purchased a lipstick from Hourglass ages ago and I don't wear it at all. So I was really quite annoyed with that. So I decided to give Hourglass a second chance and I went and looked at their new... Um, nude lipsticks and this is one of their nude lipsticks it is so beautiful oh it's so stunning and this is in the color nude number one and this is their um it's definitely a pinky tone it's so stunning i'm just in love with this it's very expensive um i think this cost 45 Five dollars, I think it was and I was very very hesitant to purchase it because it was so expensive but because it is so expensive I knew that the quality was going to be amazing and this color reminds me a lot of cream cut by Mac and I wear that all the time so I knew that I was going to wear this color and um, because of that I was very hesitant, but because I knew it was a color that I would wear pretty much every day, I definitely wanted to give a go. This is a satin finish, so it's exactly the same as Cream Cut by MAC, but just more expensive, that's all. So, yeah, love it. Definitely recommend it, but it's very expensive. But if you're willing to splurge, then definitely give it a go. So I've also got two skincare favorites, which it doesn't happen on my channel very often. So I'm very excited to share with you guys some of my skincare favorites. So I recently got the um, Priceline skincare bag and inside that were um, a little sample size, or this is a decent sample size. It's actually 10 mils, but I'm gonna have to purchase the full size. This is the Antipodes Skin Brightening Serum. And when I opened it, I was like, oh my God, that looks off, like completely off. It is this just disgusting brown color but it smells really good um so this stuff honestly i've been using it for i think over a week now i think it is in conjunction with my other favorite which is the sukin um organic rosehip oil i use these two hand in hand i'm gonna have to do like a like skincare routine when I'm not in the shower. This is what I usually do um, if I'm just taking off my makeup or anything and this is what I do after I have a shower if I, you know, have a shower and wash all my makeup off. So basically what I do, I take off my makeup with a makeup wipe, majority of it, and then I go in with some Bioderma and then I go in with the Antipodes um, Skin Brightening Serum. I just pat that into my skin and then over the top of that I go over it with my rosehip oil and I'm not kidding you guys, I really have seen the biggest difference difference in my skin. I have a crazy amount of um, like hyperpigmentation. I get really, really rosy cheeks. I go red pretty much everywhere as soon as I rub my skin. And now, believe it or not, I actually feel comfortable without my makeup on because the majority of that hyperpigmentation is gone. It is like, these are no joke. They're miracles in a bottle. These are incredible. I honestly highly recommend it. I'm going to have to do a video and, um, show you guys because it is so incredible and I highly, highly, highly recommend those two products. Um, if you're not going to go for the skin brightening serum because it is quite expensive, I think at the moment it's on sale for $46 or $47 and I think the full price is near $60. So I will definitely purchase it when it's on sale, um, but this one is going to last a little bit anyway. But if you're not going to go for the Antipodes brand, then I would probably just go for a rosehip oil because it does do miracles to your skin just by itself so um, amazing stuff I'll do a video on my lazy kind of makeup removal routine or spo or, or spo or so um, and we'll see how that goes so I'll do that and then the last favorite that I want to share is a new perfume that I purchased a couple of weeks ago and this one's by Calvin Klein and this one is the reveal perfume so I think it's the newest perfume and it comes in this square um, square packaging and it's very interesting because it sits down like you know, like that. So it's really, really nice. And, um, I do really like the scent of this. I'm going to have to find the notes of it and, um, yeah, see what it smells like. It smells very, it could definitely be a unisex perfume. I think it just smells so incredible. I need to, let me just throw them. It smells incredible. Um, I definitely recommend you guys go get this a sniff. This is just the 30 ml. So yeah, that's amazing. And I highly recommend it if you are around a price line or anywhere that has it. Definitely go give it a smell. It's amazing. 
So the last couple of favorites that I have are my random favorites and these are definitely my favorites to tell you guys about. So recently I had finished watching um, Nip and Tuck. I finished Nip and Tuck with Josh which was in my last favorites. We finished that and it was amazing. I just love that show. Um, and then we also finished, I think The Walking Dead finished and what else did we watch? Supernatural finished as well. So we pretty much had no TV series which was like insane we never not have we know we never do not what? we don't ever not have a tv show to watch so i was kind of confused on what to do so i was like what do i do with my life now like i've got no tv shows to watch so um i started back up on the vampire diaries and i was actually up to the new season but i just hadn't started watching it so i watched the whole new season in like three days and can we just like discuss this for a second? So I really don't know how I feel about the ending at all. I'm not going to say what happens just in case you guys are watching it, but oh my God, seriously, like, so I was a little bit shocked by the ending, but, um, yeah, it was a really good season. It was probably one of the best seasons that I've seen since season one. So I was very excited to finish that. So The Vampire Diaries is definitely my favorite for the month. It is amazing. Um, and then I've also got three song favorites as well. So the first song that I've been completely obsessed with is um, Twerk Like Miley. And I know it, smell, it smells, it sounds weird, but it is actually a very catchy song. Miley Cyrus isn't in it at all. So it's just an amazing amazing song, very, very catchy beat, and I'll link it down below. Um, and that one's by Brendan Beal. And the second song that I have been in love with is You Don't Own Me. And I'm pretty sure majority of you guys would know what that song sounds like because it has been all over the radio, been all over every single music station on TV. It's just been insane, but it's been one of my favorites. And the last song favorite that I have is by Adam Lambert, and it is his newest song, Ghost Town. And I used to love Adam Lambert so much. Like, it was insane. Um, but he hadn't really come out with anything new in ages. So when he came out with this song, I was just like in love with it. Like, I was just, like, drawn to it. Um, so I'm so obsessed with it. It is amazing. I will have all links to those down below. So I hope you guys go check those out. But that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my favorites. I really do appreciate it. But I just wanted to quickly mention, you guys, I've been so nervous to tell you guys about this, but I actually posted about it on Instagram um, just the other day. I was up at around 1.30 and I was just tossing and turning and I was on YouTube and I, you know, was going through all the weird sections of YouTube and I ended up looking up food for diabetics and um, that kind of led, you know, down, down a spiral path to the weird section of YouTube. Anyway, so I have decided that I am going to start a second channel, which is insane. Um, and I'm going to be doing a channel based around type 1 diabetics, which I am myself, um, because there's really not a lot out there. And I wanted to educate you guys on things that I go through on a daily basis, things that people probably have no idea about. Like, guys, it is intense. And you guys will see that. And I have big plans for this channel. So this channel is going to be based based around um, type 1. It's also going to be based around what I eat in a day, um, just basic exercises, easy recipes, that kind of thing. So I am so nervous to actually sit down. I'm about to sit down and film that video for you guys, which I'm so excited about. So I will link that channel down below and I honestly I hope you guys do support it because it is going to be I'm going to be pouring my whole heart and soul into it and a lot of time and research will be going into it as well so it would mean the absolute world to me if you guys could go and subscribe to that channel um, there'll be hopefully a little bit of vlogging with there and honestly I am planning on doing a traveling with type 1 as well because I am going on that holiday in 16 days I'm so excited um, so yeah, 
that will be linked down below and you guys can see a little bit more of me on a personal level so hopefully you guys don't mind that um, but yeah as soon as it's up I will link it down below and of course on my Instagram I will be um, putting links everywhere for it so I hope you guys do go and support that channel it would mean the world to me but again thank you guys so much for watching for watching my favorites I appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys